Well, we're taking you right now to some of the worst areas of damage across Mississippi from last night's tornadoes. Fox Weather's Nicole Valdez has been live on the ground for us really since daybreak in Rolling Fork, Mississippi with a closer look. And Nicole, we look at what's going on in Rolling Fork and it is difficult to put into words just the breadth and depth of damage behind you. Michael, I know you're looking at the devastation behind me. I want to get to some quick updates that are, are really worth getting to our viewers right now. Number one is I just confirmed with the uh, county public information officer, Rolling Fork alone, we've got 13 people dead in this city, a city of only 1,800. That is a, an immense number, and it gives you an idea of the sheer uh, destruction and power of this storm. And it's not hard to see you know, when you think about 13 dead, I mean, you're looking at a brick house here, a place that most people would think that they'd be safe inside, uh, but this one completely ripped to shreds. You're looking back there at the mattress nearly on the roof. Among the rubble, diapers, you know, different boxes. So there was clearly a family with a young child who lived in this home that now have nothing to come back to. We're hoping and praying that they're okay. Uh, but very interestingly, you're looking at one wall that is still standing, maybe a closet or a bathroom there, and you'll notice the marks in the wall that shows that debris as it was flying around during that storm was still hitting this wall even as the brick came down. So you got to wonder how quickly did these walls collapse inside and, and if there was a family in here, where were they taking shelter? Hopefully behind one of the few walls that are still standing to provide them some protection. Uh, but it, it is so incredibly difficult to look at this, to know that there are people who have suffered so much already. And any sign of relief or recovery is going to be a, a long ways away. Uh, right now, uh, Governor Tate Reeves has issued a state of emergency for each and every county that has been impacted by this long spread, uh, really disaster here that, that cuts right through Mississippi, more than 100 miles through this state alone. And he says he's been in contact with President Biden to try to uh, get FEMA down here as quickly as possible, recognizing the need that not only exists today, but will continue for likely weeks out here. I mean, this, what you're seeing is just one home, but this goes on for miles and miles. Almost every building that I can see from where I'm standing looks something like this. So it, it's, it's, it, it's palpable, the pain here, uh, knowing that there are people who lost their lives, lost loved ones, some that are still trying to uh, get in contact with them to see if they're okay, if they need help. I mean, uh, this is a, a very urgent and dire situation here, guys. And it's, it's, I, I'm sorry, it's, it, there's a lot of things that I, I want to say, but I want to make sure that I mention too the, the amount of people that I've seen uh, get here as quickly as they have to try to offer some assistance. Uh, in the distance, I know it's hard to see, we've got a, a line of cars, almost a caravan of people that have been uh, coming in all day, uh, trying to bring food, trying to bring water, see if people need help. Uh, nurses uh, trying to come and offer medical attention to the people who were injured in this. Dozens is what we were told across the state. So that that is the good thing that comes out of these disasters, right? We, we don't want them to be necessary, but that is something that is just as worth pointing out as the destruction that you see beside me here, guys. So I'll, I'll leave you with that, a little sense, a little glimmer of hope and positivity among this completely catastrophic image. Catastrophic is certainly the words that folks are using to describe the imagery behind you. Nicole Valdez, I know it's going to be such a long day, a long week, perhaps months in terms of recovery where you're at. We so appreciate your reporting. And uh, thank you so much for that update. Just to reconfirm with you, you said that uh, the emergency management officials saying 13 people have been confirmed dead in Rolling Fork. Yes, 13, that's from the county. So Sharkey County officials confirming that number to me moments ago. Are, are, are they concerned that that number could rise? Oh, absolutely. I think when you look at just how much rubble there is and the uncertainty of whether there are people that may be still missing, uh, that's the difference, right? Is there might be people missing, there might be people who just can't uh, be accounted for, doesn't have, don't have contact with at this point. So that's really hard to say. But I think when you look at the extent of this damage, I don't think it's hard to believe that we could see that number go up. All right. Our thoughts and prayers with everyone in a rolling fork.
Mississippi, thank you so much for your reporting. Nicole Valdez, we really appreciate that. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.